Hi, Kim here today with another process video. Today I'm going to show you how I created a large die cut shape that actually was created without using a die cut machine. It's actually really simple. I used plain white cardstock, cut strips that were half an inch wide. First of all, drawing the snowflake shape onto my base piece of paper and use that as a rough guide for the placement of the actual strips. Then what I did is I did the base strips first, getting my crisscross shape. And then after that, just literally loosely cut the, the side pieces, stuck them underneath and shifted them around until they were linear and well balanced. So as you can see, the result is a really cool looking snowflake without the hassle of either a die cutting machine or some sort of electronic machine. It just means that you can create a shape like this in no time at all with very little effort. And yeah, as you can see, it's a gorgeous snowflake shape. I opted to machine stitch the snowflake onto the base page for a little bit of interest. Now I'm going to pop my photo cluster onto the page. You will notice that the photograph was attached uh, to a, a three by four piece of uh, pattern paper, then using a cardstock frame, sentiment strip and sticker created this, this cute little cluster. Those bits that you can see there are from the Pink Press Studio holiday collection. And um, don't you just adore those colors? The unusual blues together with red and shades of pink are just fantastic together. I really, really like the sophisticated vibe. Here what I'm doing is I'm placing my embellishments. Those little hot drink ephemera came from the exclusive Hip Kit Club ephemera collection that I designed together with puffy stickers and some cork printed or well, not cork printed veneer shapes and there were all sorts of little bits and bobs that coordinated well with the other items that came in the kit from other suppliers here what i'm doing is fussy cutting a whole bunch of those super cute little houses that came on a piece of pattern paper again from pink fresh studios i love the the whimsical vibe of the, the naive black and white drawings. And once cut out, they created such gorgeous interest behind my layers. My thoughts were to make this page really, really three dimensional. So not that you can see at the moment, I go back after I've actually solved the design and then lift all the layers with different heights of foam tape. As I've explained before in previous videos, I actually don't adhere anything as I'm going along. I leave everything unstuck and loose so that I can shift and juggle around to make sure that the design is absolutely perfect, that the positioning is perfect, that the balance is right before I commit to adhesive. Because I don't know if you've like me, you've stuck things down in the past and you try and reposition it later and it rips the paper to pieces or destroys the embellishment or whatever. So I have now learnt just through experience you don't adhere anything until you are finished and happy. So those gorgeous alphas again are exclusive Hip Kit Club puffy sticker alphas that we had made specifically for this, this collection and for this, this kit over the November and December holiday season. I just absolutely adore the final effect. They're really gold and shiny and festive. What I'm doing here is just is is experimenting a little with some of the puffy stickers from Hip, uh, Pink Press Studio. Shifting, shifting things around. Um, I wanted to get a little bit more interest underneath the photograph, so tore some strips of, of heavy duty vellum. What it does is it, knock back, it knocks back the pattern of the, pa um, the base paper, which is what I was looking for, and adds a little bit more attention to the, the photograph, which obviously is my focal point. I thought I'd experiment with some of their quirky little tree shapes. Notice how the pop of the red flowers creates a, a visual triangle, which is in a way a way to frame a focal photograph 
very subtly so you'll notice the reds are slightly darker which then makes them stand out against the pink background the nice thing about these uh, hip kit club alphas is they normally come with extra doodads like hearts or pluses or little star shapes or flower shapes so i'm taking these these star shapes and dotting them around the page the idea was to create a flurry of different types of snowflake shapes punched puffy stickers ephemera etc just to add a little bit more bling to the page some teeny tiny snowflake shapes were exactly what I needed to fill in a little bit more of that white space which I felt was just a little too open lastly I added some red enamel dots at three points around the page again it contributes towards that framing idea that I mentioned earlier they are called they I like to call them visual anchors they help your eye to travel around the page forcing you to stop in different areas because they they've got more vibrant color and it was exactly what I needed so here we go the finished page here's some close-ups of more of the detailing I really hope you've enjoyed this process and um, be sure to pop back for more I will be posting more videos in the next day or two thanks bye bye